This series of tutorials serves as a reminder of how to use Microsoft Access to create and use a very simple flat file database. Here is the opening screen when we um, first open Access. So on the right here we want to choose a more useful file name. I'm going to just call this Access 2012 because I'm using an IG exam from 2012 and then I want to browse to where I want to save it and then press create and here we open up the access database file which can be made up of separate tables forms queries and reports now what I've got downloaded already is um, the file that we require called N122 cars. This is the Access 2012 database file that contains all these other things that we just created. And the PDF that you can download from Blackboard um, is a two-page document with all the uh, instructions. So we're told, first of all, that we're going to prepare some reports for a company, making sure that all currency values are in euros to two decimal places. And the date sold field must be in the date format of day, month, and then year. So the first thing that we're asked to do is to import that CSV file in 12 2 cards. And we need to assign some data types while we do that. So as a reminder, we go up to external data because it's currently external to this database file. And it's a CSV file, which is a form of text file. So we click that browse for that CSV file wherever you've saved it, press open and then press OK. There's no need to change anything else on that screen. We want to keep this as delimited and then move to the next screen. Now reminder, first of all we click first row contains field names so uh, you can see that we've now got headings for our columns or fields. It's a CSV file, which is comma separated values, so make sure that comma is still selected, then press next. Now it's on this screen that we need to set the data types. And we can see from the question paper that VIN here um, is text, which is there by default. Model is text. Power is text. Engine size is text, but price is numeric currency. So we've got a change long integer down here and in access the monetary value is just currency. Color is text. Discount applied is numeric integer. So change that to integer. Location is text. Date sold is the date. And I can see that's date time. We'll just check is there anything else that's similar. No, that's the only one. So I'm going to leave it as is. Just scroll along for the remaining fields. Salesperson should be text. And then remember that booleans are a little bit different. We set something up here first by changing its data type to yes, no. And then we've got to make yes, no appear um, later on in the table. So for now, just press uh, next. In IG, we didn't use databases with primary keys because we were only using it as a flat file and a primary key is not absolutely required. So I'm just going to press no primary key there. Press next. If you want to call it a different name, do so. But I'm just going to leave it as is and click finish. Then close. Now I can see I've got two tables here. Table one, if I just close that, will disappear. And then if I double click N12 cars, here is our table. Now we've got to go into the design view. And just set a few things. We can see all the data types that we set. But when we go to currency, we've got to change the properties to euro because that's what the top of the paper asked us for. Now, auto for DP should be um, two decimal places because it's currency. But just to make sure, select two from the pull down list. Um, we need to check that date and time 
matches the format required, which is day, month, year. And we're lucky here that we have got um, a, a, in New Zealand our computers are set to day, month, year anyway, so it's picking up my um, default settings. I'm just going to choose the short date option to save space. And then the final thing, to make our words yes and no appear, we've actually got to change the format of our Boolean field to yes, no. Do a quick check of the lookup, check that it says text box. Now I want to go back to the data sheet view where we can see our data after saving the table first. We can see we've got 2DP and the euro symbol under the price field. We've got the short date option, day, month, year. And when we scroll along to the Boolean field, we've got either yes or no rather than negative one or zero. And that's it for importing and setting up the fields and formatting of those fields from a CSV file into a Microsoft Access database file.